for a few weeks. Not too bad, actually. But we're getting it done. I decided to make a video because then this will hold me accountable to get it done. But also, I feel like once I take all the books off the shelf, I'm going to want to get it done because I can't have just stacks of books filling up my living room because this is the only living area I have and that would probably drive me crazy. But the plan is, there is no plan, but I want to organize it by genre and still have that messy, kind of chaotic, like just thrown book, like thrown books in the shelf kind of look. Although I've tried to make it look messy on purpose and it usually doesn't work. So I might just organize it to like perfection and have it look really nice. And then knowing me, I'm gonna be throwing in books and it will like probably by tomorrow, it will get <laughs> that messy look again. Cause I kind of like when the spines are in and when it's just like looks like I live here and I'm using the books and I'm reading them. Um, and not just like perfectly lined up and yeah I think that's the only how far I've got planned out oh and I want to take some of the books I know like the top shelf I have a lot of fiction books up there and last year I was like oh that's when I got the ladder installed and I was like I'm gonna use this all the time like I'm so excited but in reality when I come home from like Barnes Noble or I have like new books I just don't feel like climbing up the ladder to put them away uh it's not not that big of a hassle but I just have to move out my couch and then move out the ladder and then climb up and then it's just easier to just come home throw them on the shelf and walk away so yeah I think I'm gonna move more of like the collectible um books and special editions stuff like that on the top shelves and then the ones that I reach for more often towards the bottom where I can actually reach them and yeah that's all I have planned so also I want to get rid of a lot of books because there was I was looking at it yesterday and I was like I don't remember buying it like I don't know where some of these came from and also some of them I've been looking at for like seven years now and I still haven't read it so I'm like it's time to say goodbye and I want to go donate them to a free little library somewhere and just get them off the shelf because they've either, either been there for way too long or I honestly think someone like broke into my house and gave me books because I'm like I don't remember buying it. It's probably like one of those midnight purchases but yeah let's get started. I feel like I'm rambling because I'm trying to procrastinate this. <laughs> dusting the shelves which I know is the most thrilling part of this whole process but uh sirens are going off um yeah if I just had lunch and now we're gonna start putting these away I also have a huge pile of books on my nightstand I don't know if I should add them to the shelves because that's my TBR I feel like I should so they have like their place once I like organize everything, so once I finish reading it, they have like a designated spot they can go. 
and I don't like mostly for series. I don't have to rearrange all the books to get them to fit again. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go grab them here. I'll bring y'all with me. I organized a lot. I started putting in like the collectibles and the special editions up at these top shelves, but I might have to move them because those are like the big, bigger shelves, which I might need to save for the genres that I have more books of. So I might have to move them to the small shelves, which are up in the right hand corner. I feel bad putting them in the corner because then you can't really see them up there, and that just doesn't feel right, you know? So. I don't know. I think here's so the plan is I think we're gonna go the first column be like classical up to fiction and then fiction and romance the second column and then the last two columns be fantasy and then probably like mystery and thriller and horror all in one shelf towards the top because I don't have any of those. But I don't know. I think where I went wrong is doing like the tiny genres like thriller and like those very specific ones first and I probably should be doing fantasy and romance and fiction just because I have more of those so I should take up the space that I need for those to keep them together and then fill in with like the sub genres that I don't really have much for yeah all right good talk each other I like took some cardboard and made like a shelf to put on the books because they're not supposed to be laying on their side for some reason I thought about putting bookends on like the very tippity top up here but the vents right there actually so that's probably not great for them so never mind yeah I think they're just gonna stay there for now but now it's time from the neck backs and then we are done. <music> tired but it's done um, I will do a full 
bookshelf tour, like go through each shelf and all the books and genres and all that kind of stuff tomorrow morning because it is, like I said, very late. I don't want to be like yapping at the wall that my neighbors are sleeping directly behind, you know? So we'll do that tomorrow. My first YouTube video and I'm already going out of order. Good morning. It's the next day. It's currently snowing out. I don't know if you can see that, but here's the bookshelf. Also, these are the ones that are going to the free little library. I don't know if I said that in the other video, but this is it. I'm very excited. I know it's not a huge difference between the before and after. However, I can tell it's a big difference and I will actually be able to find books now, which is very exciting. I also switched out the art prints for Crescent City prints because tis the season, tis the month. But I guess we can go getting ahead of myself, starting from like the bottom and like work our way like a snake, possibly. That's kind of the way I went when organizing the genres. Okay, starting with the shelf, we have a few like holiday seasonal fiction books, then random fiction books, Taylor Duncan Reed, and then some of these, I feel like you can only read them in the summer, so I put them like with the seasonal, I don't know, that's just made sense in my head. And then up here, more fiction books, and then also some historical fiction that didn't fit on the other shelf. Classic books here, fiction, uh, a ton of fiction, kind of really stuffed that shelf. Uh, like classic fiction, kind of a little bit of a hodgepodge. So I have to go back and like zoom in because I can't keep my hand steady on the ladder. But up there are the archaeology books and like some textbooks I had from college. Next we have like collectibles or just like sentimental books for me and yeah just like old books next historical f historical fiction or like age pieces like set in certain decades and then romance books that i have not read yet i'm actually reading the ones that write themselves right now but i don't i wanted it to have a space on a shelf uh, romance series. I've read some of them, some of them I have not. And then literary loft print and a little jelly cat. Down here we have dark romances and like monster romance books that I've read for the podcast, the Red Receipts podcast. And then down here just a uh, romance series that I've read. So next fantasies that I've read basically most of them and then up here I've read all but this half of the shelf fantasy books that I have not read yet but most of these are going to be read uh, very soon and then here's my witchy shelf and some of my favorite bookmarks Dark Academia, or like books that have Dark Academia vibes. And then Mystery, Horror, Thriller. And then up here we have Sarah J. Mass. That's probably gonna have to be moved soon because once the third Crescent City comes out, they're not gonna fit. I also have to get new book jackets for Akatar. I also wanna get new ones for Throne of Glass too, but those will probably have to be moved. And then Harry Potter is at the very top. Cassandra Clare. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I haven't read those yet, but I really want to. And then Agatha Christie and some poetry books. And then on the right side is a fantasy series. I'm forgetting the name of it. It's like something brothers. Uh, haven't read it yet. Want to. And they're kind of just... I turned the spines in because it just looked too much. And I like that. As I said, like a million art times already, that like messy look, and I knew I wasn't gonna get up there and make a mess, so I was like, I'll just do it now. And then we have Jennifer L. Armand Trout books, fantasy books that I've read, 
more fantasy books that I've read. I took Fox Glove out last night because I'm in the middle of reading that too. Then these are fantasy books that I have not read. Or actually, I'm in the middle of some of these too. Uh, and then more fantasy books that I haven't read. These are series that I've started but haven't finished yet, but will finish, want to finish, hopefully soonish. And then this is my little random shelf of like books that were given to me as gifts, like as gag gifts, or I've always wanted to start like Twilight and Outlander in those, but like I've just never been in the mood to. I don't know if the time has passed. Like maybe you had to read it when it was like the thing to read, you know? But maybe I didn't want to get rid of them because it's like, what if? one day I'm like I'm gonna read the Twilight series so that's there and then just like a bunch of like non-fiction books and yeah so that's it oh and then we have coffee table books and all my magazines which I did not go through and I probably will not be going through because I don't hate myself but yeah that is it I'm very happy with it uh, very excited to because I think there's room to add more books like I'm seeing some gaps, you know, and I feel like if I shimmy some books over we can We can make room we can get there. So That is it. Thanks for holding me accountable and joining me Bye